So fun thing, we are currently in a winter storm. I'm in my PJs, but we have like a winter storm. Sorry, that was a really loud noise. We have a winter storm warning. Um, so I'm gonna show. So I'm gonna make coffee and read because it's all dark outside and uh, snowy. We're supposed to get six to ten inches of snow from starting last night until um, tomorrow. Or oh, sorry, no, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night, I think. Um, I'm just gonna open this door real quick. Oh my God, so much snow. My kitchen is a mess. You can't look at it, but I am gonna make some coffee. And then I'm going to read, um, and yeah, I have to, I have to go, um, print out some labels for Emmy's hair care at Office Depot because something's going on with my printer that like won't print the color that I need on the labels pigmented enough. And it's a brand new printer. I just bought it for my business. I can't get it to work correctly, but luckily Office Depot isn't too far. I can pop in, they can print them, and it is like a couple cents. So it's not that bad. It's just frustrating. I like how a majority of my vlogs so far have been me showing you snow. <laughs> Why is that the theme of my vlogs? Oh, I don't think I have enough coffee ground. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. To grind more coffee for one more scoop. I'm blending just the Christmas blend from Starbucks because uh, we get free coffee because that's where my husband works. So that is what uh, that is what I drink. Uh, although we do have a really yummy local company. Um, I think I think they do a holiday blend. I can't quite remember, but. I'm gonna have to go get some of their holiday blends. I love holiday blend coffees. I lose my mind. It's so good. I think it's because it's so special because it's only for like a couple months and then it goes away until the next year. But I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna grind coffee beans. Um, and I don't want you to hear that. Oh, here's my coffee grinder. I guess should I show you that? What one is this? It's a Bodum coffee grinder. Pro tip, if you're grinding beans for like a coffee pot kind of maker, you want your beans to be fine. So if you're like, the coffee always comes out watery, you're probably not grinding your beans enough. They're probably a little watery. I don't have good lighting in here to show you. Oh, maybe. Do you see that? See how fine that is? That's not anything. <laughs> All that for one scoop. I like to do a scoop plus a little extra. Uh, that's the good luck scoop. A snowplow's coming. Now part of the fun of having a morning cup of coffee is picking which mug am I gonna drink out of. As you can see, we have quite an assortment. Also, I'm just short. It goes back very far. Um, we have many, we have many mug. Many, many mug. Oh look, there's my husband's face. <laughs> If you want to add a mug to your collection, it's me. It's me. It's my mug. I have this also on my Etsy. This is the Wash Day Fuel Emmy's Hair Care Mug. It says Wash Day Fuel. And then that's my emote from Twitch. <laughs> A paper towel in my hand for that clip did that ruin the clip <sighs> real quick before i tell you oh, before i tell you what i'm reading <laughs> look, at, look at this like i was helping my grandma um move some things around and she found this framed baby photo of me look at it there's a glare i'm sorry look at her <laughs> so now i have a framed baby photo of myself in my house that's quite funny um I'm gonna balance you on this water. Okay, cool. I've been reading The Book of Form and Emptiness by Ruth Ozeki. Um, I, where did I first hear this book? I can't remember. Um, but <laughs> uh, it is about a boy whose father has 
uh, has died, and he begins to hear voices from like inanimate objects, and then he also finds a book that is narrating his life to him. The book itself is talking to you and the boy, Benny. Um, and Benny is also talking to you and the book, which is really, really interesting. But Benny, Benny and his mom have been coping with his dad dying in a very horrific way. Now it's just, you know, the, the two of them and they cope very differently. Um, and Benny feels, you can tell that he definitely feels like he has to take care of his mom versus the other way around. Like, he gets very upset when he has to remind her that, like, they're low on certain groceries, specifically milk. Like, if he doesn't have milk with his cereal, that, like, breaks him out of his routine and makes him very upset. Um, and, like, he's constantly having to remind her to, like, take the trash out or, like, recycle, um, and she won't or she'll take the recycle bags and put them in his room, which then makes him furious. The house is in, in a ton of disarray, which is why he doesn't like when things are then thrown into his room because he keeps his room how he wants it kept and like outside is very messy. Um, he frequently yells at her, um, which then makes her cry. Their, their relationship is very hard to read um because like they're both grieving the sudden loss of his dad and it's eating them up um she uh she worked it's weird because it's like present day but she worked this job where and maybe this was a thing in like 2014 that's kind of when this is um so i guess not present day uh but she like clips out newspaper clippings and then turns them into the newspaper or the radio and then they then report the news but there's these like scissor girls that or scissor ladies that cut out these newspaper clippings and their jobs are obsolete because of the internet and all the other ladies have been fired um and she's trying to keep her job. She's especially trying to keep her job because one day while Benny is in class, um, the scissors start talking to him about how great it would be if he stabbed his math teacher. And he is trying to tell them to shut up. And at some point he like gets up and walks over to her and she's with the scissors. And she's like, what you doing? And he tries to like redirect the scissors because he doesn't want to stab his teacher and he stabs his leg then he has to go uh to a psychiatrist he ends up being put in the pediatric 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 psychiatry ward in the hospital that doesn't seem like the right name i'll maybe put it on screen <laughs> um he ends up going there uh, where he has like different counselors and people to like coach him through his anger or through when he's hearing other voices because he's showing signs of having uh, pediatric schizophrenia, I think is what it's called. And he, he goes to that, his mom like pleads with her job, like you cannot let me go. I have a kid in the hospital, like I need health insurance. I need this job please don't fire me. So they decide to kind of phase her in more on like the technology side of it. So not just like clipping out newspaper clippings, but still doing the same job, but just like scouring Buzzfeed articles basically. When he gets home, she is like very excited to see him. It would have been his junior high graduation. So she tries to throw like a little graduation for him and he's not feeling it. Um, doesn't see the point of it. Where she's like, oh my god, my baby, like, you're all grown up. And he's like, Ew, miss me later. He decides he's just going to go to his room. And when he goes to his room, she had put even more stuff in his room trying to make room for her new work stuff. Um, and he absolutely loses it that he, he comes home after just being in the psych ward and, 
like junk is in his room and he starts like throwing it at her and yelling at her and then tries to go through like what his counselor coached him through for like calming down um and then it like cuts the next scene which is like Benny talking to you being like I didn't mean to like yell at her that much and make her cry it's just I that he learned in the psych ward that that is one of his triggers when like stuff is in his space that he does not want, it triggers him. Um, when certain things of his routine are disrupted, it triggers him um, and makes him very angry. And the way he describes the anger was really interesting. He described it as if like a comet is like careening down at him and he can't do anything to stop it and it's going to hit him. And so he can just like surrender to that anger that's coming at him. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. This is a TED talk by a woman. Um, I'm gonna have to try to find the link to it, but she has schizophrenia and she did a TED talk about it, about how old she was, where it like developed to a level of like taking over her life or, or really disrupting her life. Um, and to where it is now and she was even able to like talk and describe about what she was seeing because I think her type was more what she sees as well as what she hears but mostly what she sees um so like while she was giving the talk she was seeing things um and still doing this freaking TED talk she was talking I believe she was talking about the the like different types and various levels of schizophrenia. I'm not a psychologist. I don't know what I'm saying. But just from my memory, that's what she was going on about and how she was like, schizophrenia isn't just the old guy um, that's homeless and, and is, is downtown yelling. Like schizophrenia can also be me. Like, I, you know, she, I think she was like in her 20s and had just graduated college for a biology degree or something like that. Um, and it was just really fascinating. So I'm even more fascinated of this book because I didn't realize we were going down a schizophrenia route when I just knew the very vagueness of the book. Obviously, like, that sounds silly now in hindsight, being like, a boy hears the voices of inanimate objects. But like, Disney taught me to listen to inanimate objects. So my first thought is not, oh, so this is about a child that has schizophrenia. Got it. Like, I was just like, oh, this, he finds this magical book that's narrating his life. Totally. I got you. Yes. <laughs> like, I just, I wasn't thinking that's where that was going to go. Um, feels silly now in hindsight, again. But so far, um, really liking it. I'm on page 180. Got my Black Oween bookmark always. And that's what I'll be reading, and I will update you. <laughs> I have my phone so dangerously balanced on the computer, but we're gonna go with it. Um, first off, happy December 1st! Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing Vlogmas or what my Vlogmas will entail or anything, but we're just gonna kind of go with it. But first, I just wanted to show you to end off the vlog. Look at these labels, okay? So like, this is the one that's printing horribly, okay? And look at the difference. Like, look at, look at the difference. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Here, I got a bottle here that's missing a label. So I'm going to put that on. But if you have any, like, troubleshooting ideas for this printer on how to get it printed pigmented, um, let me know. But in the meantime, I'm just going to continue going to Office Depot, um, because they will print them for me and they're very nice. So, you know, there she is, the blueprint. <laughs> and well, that's it for this vlog. I will see you at another time. Um, get your black Santa mugs. Um, and yeah, oh my gosh, also just wait, just one, one thing that I just have to tell you about because it's very funny. Um, my mom loves gnomes. 
now. Like her house is a gnome winter wonderland and um, she tries getting gnomes that have like brown noses um, and my sister and I try finding them for her as well so that you know there's representation up in her house. Hello. Um, but I was shopping around on Etsy for some Kwanzaa things because I needed a Kanara and I found <laughs> found a Kwanzaa shirt that says happy Kwanzaa and it's got black nose <laughs> with like candy cloth and I I was laughing so hard I said I, I just said if this isn't the most biracial shirt <laughs> oh I love it so when I have it and I'm wearing it um I'll show it to you obviously but um yeah that was the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and hearing me talk a lot. Um, put a snowflake in the comments because there was a snowstorm. It's not snowing now, but it definitely looks icy. Stay safe. See you later. Bye.